When Shannon Little started her own public relations firm, she quickly learned about the costs of being her own boss. I had one medication. When I had insurance, it cost me $50 a month. When I lost my insurance, my neighborhood pharmacy wanted to charge me $600 a month. A price she says she absolutely couldn't pay. That's a good percentage of my income, especially starting out as a new business owner, to be able to afford just one of my medications. We ran a price check on 10 commonly prescribed medications to find out what we would pay without insurance. The prices varied widely. For example, a 30-day supply of generic Crestor cost more than 250 bucks at Rite Aid, but the same pills were less than $20 at Walmart. Rite Aid, CVS, and Walgreens typically have the highest prices, while Costco consistently had the lowest, followed by Walmart and King Supers. It can pay to shop around, ask pharmacists, hey, what's the best deal that you could possibly give me? According to Lisa Gill with Consumer Reports, pharmacies don't always make it easy for customers to get the best deal, especially those who have insurance. It was explained to us that there are gag clauses in place between a pharmacy and the pharmacy benefit manager, and it, it prohibits pharmacists from offering that lowest possible price unless the consumer asks. Asking literally for the lowest possible price, Gill says, is the magic phrase. So that seems to unlock pharmacists' ability to actually give you the lower price. Other ways to save on prescriptions? Check for in-store discounts. For example, Walgreens has a prescription savings club. It took one of the medicines on our list, generic Lipitor, from $150.99 to $4.99 with a $20 membership. And look for online coupons. Every drug was significantly cheaper with coupons from website GoodRx. Generic Plavix cost $200. $40 at CVS, but using a good RX coupon at the same store drops it to 22 bucks. Also becoming more common, people with insurance finding cheaper prices by not using it, replacing it instead with a coupon or some other discount program. Experts say that's because more consumers have high deductible plans that force them to pay out of pocket before the insurance will kick in. Even more reason for people to shop around.